and launched an investigation as as he says you know True. and crippled him financially and everything you know well, girls i got to know something men are like lion they, they don't share girls are like mothers who always forgive okay how did your dad accept that you have a boyfriend that men are like lions they don't share and women are like mothers they always forgive so you want me to forgive your bullshit for the next 15 25 30 50 years if you're going to be cheating and coming cheating and coming going by coming. Going by in the trash i know our in moms were really some strong women you know i applaud them you know you know but, what i'm not even gonna say my I'm, me i'm a whole different generation i'll say my grandmother because my mother wouldn't stand for that crap my mother would not be standing for that crap. <laughs> my grandmother was a strong woman yes my mother wouldn't stand for that. And Nelson, it is, it is, Nelson, it is statements like this that make men not want to be better, not want to do uh, better. JFK wants to feature live. Okay, 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 okay. Let me come up and he can come on. All right, okay. So okay. we are waiting for Jules to add. Oh, yeah, talk now. You don't Whoa. need table. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. You didn't give me any advance notice you're going to call. Huh? That and, was... Fine boy, no fine boy, no. See, I'll give you a good one. I see there's on my apron, man. Yes. And we'll get evidence. We actually need to cook fish too. Because you know, say fish too, then they so different. Can you can't fish too, then they. And the fish worry. Na ba o na ba o na barakuda, na kuta. Na, na tilapia. Hey, tilapia. Yes. Okay. With local spices. Shoot. <laughs> By the way, I need to applaud you girls for uh for your life the topic is quite interesting thank brilliant you. job the makeup is thank you thank you thank you yeah what do i have to say i have too many things to say because i know that we the the, the, the conversation has been from will and then it's come down to our community and how yeah. you know young people like us are dealing with uh cheating and entanglements and affairs mm -hmm. and i really want us to bring it down to our community because will jada those are celebrities they have they get their own lifestyle they get their own thing that happens absolutely and a lot of ones that will deal with them you know but when you bring the topic down to our community how do we deal with entanglements how do we deal with affairs and my opinion is that you know boys and girls are prone to cheat women mm -hmm. are men mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sometimes we slate men more for cheating uh but it's men cheat with women so it's not yeah, absolutely. so no one should be should be on a higher more moral platform to say oh men cheat a lot and men don't take responsibility when that happens i think it's it's a concern for both men and women how do we deal with cheating what is usually the issue um why do men cheat why do women cheat i don't have the answer but I it's think a it boils down to the individual if you ask me and and maybe your circumstances at the time and and your values and and all mm -hmm. of it, it's a whole you know it's a whole cocktail it's not i don't think it's black and white you know like that true i agree with you that you no know, it, it has to do a lot with character it yeah has to do a lot of character, it boils down to character. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 that's uh, why when yeah. you hear um okay like what um nelson said he said something about men being the lion and they don't want to share but, mm -hmm. uh, but a woman is forgiving so that's why you can always forgive your uh, your husband's cheating for me it, that is a lot of ego speaking and that's why we we are actually applauding what will did although we are we, we say we are going to like actually let's put will aside i know mm -hmm. that ego is a huge part of what a man or who a man is you know and mm -hmm. You know that manliness. So for a man, especially in our community, like the man, younger, younger, cheat, you take it back, mama mia. You know, like they consider if you if you forgive your wife or your partner for cheating, they will look at you like that is uh 
they will just they'll just think that you've been completely deborred. Like mm -hmm. we want to get to a point where men are actually can be in touch with their feelings and say, you know what, I was hurt, but I love my wife and affair should not end. Would you say the guy was Nelson? I don't think Nelson has let me let me know say what I want to say. <laughs> no, I just any man, I, any man who makes a comment like that hasn't lived with a woman or hasn't dealt with women. If a woman forgives you, that's a trophy right there. If a woman forgives you, if she doesn't forgive you, if she stays there, my brother. Just know, say, to it, I get the plan. A woman, a woman, a woman be planning for five years, six years. A woman, think so you for 25 years. So woman, you rather you rather take forgiveness or you don't do it at all. Because if woman should have a day, the plan you boy, you'll be very shocked. The day will take you there. You'll wash and you out. never see them coming. You never see a woman coming. They want anger. You know? Yeah, we are forgiving, but when we get to the point where we've had enough you don't know what like the way we the way we come down here we know that forgiveness when i just i don't know i don't even know how to talk him. that forgiveness I, is i made a comment i said that the, the world to me the world is not fair to men uh, but men we keep deceiving ourselves that is a man's world man can do this man can do that but the truth is that we make all the noise but when you look at it you, you have a microscopic look at the situation most of the things which happen, women get away with it easily. Yeah. If Will had slept with a 27-year-old, Will's first son is 27 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Will had slept with a 27-year-old girl, this conversation would not be the same. No. Women would be slating him all over the world. How can you live a beautiful woman and go for a young girl? It would be insulting that guy. It would be probably the but, job. But the, the thing is, either way, right now. either way, see what Jada is going through. She's had a fair share of persecution. If you ask me, <laughs> Yeah, it's not going through anything. There's no you empathy at all. So? Everyone's making a joke about it. Everyone's making a joke about entanglement. It's now it's, it's now the, the most trending word on, on the internet. You know, and nobody's nobody has empathy for this man who is trying to fix his marriage and, and has to subject to public ridicule. Nobody is seeing that. He has to because subject to public day, ridicule, but you remember we don't know what has happened behind the scenes. How did Jada get to, that's the question I was asking the, um, earlier. How did Jada get to a point of that amount of brokenness, you know, we, like, we want to know what has happened between her and Will. I think Will has taken his pound of flesh at some point. You cannot tell me that because, I mean, all these allegations and, and rumors going around that there's, there has been an open marriage. You cannot tell me that Will has not, you know, had his fair share of the, you know, I of think, the national cake or whatever it is that we want to call I think it. I, 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 well, let's stick with the facts as they are. And the facts are this is what we know. Let's not assume. We know that, and Will said it himself, that they were separated, they had decided to, to take their space, and in that time, she said she got in an entanglement, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the facts, okay? Mm -hmm. Now they're on the table for what? They're making up. I heard you did this. What's your excuse? She mm -hmm. didn't really give an excuse. She just explained it in a very blurry. And, well, it's, it's Will is sitting there. He's a victim on that table. Let's forget about the assumptions and the stories. He's a victim on that table. How, He's the how is he a victim? Well, it's Jada who cheated. No, but he kicked her ass, remember? No, he no, no, no. They were, they, no, no. They said they wanted to take their space. This is what we don't need to assume. What did they agree when they when they decided to take space? If Will is going back and saying, well, we decided to take space, what happened? What did you do in your, in your time when we took space? That is an indication that she may have gone contrary to the agreement. Otherwise, the agreement why, should he, why should he be questioning uh, what happened uh, when they took their space? That, that's why the red table talk should have been longer than 12 minutes so that we'll find out a bit more about maybe there was an agreement to like there was a proud agreement to the separation but let's just agree that space. we we <laughs> we have no empathy neither from you girls today on the live show or from anybody else in the world nobody has empathy for this poor man huh and besides this is will smith we're talking about this is one of the most handsome men in hollywood will can have any woman at, at, I bet yeah, seventy okay, percent of you women. On something. You said if, yep. if he was the one who dated a twenty-seven year old, I mean they, they got like what Stacy said earlier. Stacy said these people parade around, they go around with younger women all the time, you know, you know, and it's it's normal. I don't think it's something that he would have been uh, really? uh, grilled for, if you ask me. And then uh, what's D saying? D D said a man can cheat and will still love the wife so much. But when a woman cheats, it is finished. Um, I don't know. Jules, I you think I'm still. Guy. Can you? I'm I want to hear a guy's perspective on this. But what's the question? Hey, Cher. Ooh, welcome, Lil 
sis. Ooh, ooh. What's the Sherry picture? is finally here. Yeah, I've come to Instagram for you guys. So you better join. You better be joining live. What's the question? The question is, do you think you can cheat on your woman even though you love her? Can you love your woman and cheat on her? No, I couldn't do that. No. So you can cheat. So once you step out I, of your I, relationship, it means the love is over. No, I couldn't cheat. I couldn't cheat on, on somebody I love. I couldn't so do that. So if you cheat on somebody, it means it's somebody you don't love. So if you uh -huh. find yourself cheating on somebody, you probably would have fallen out of love with the person and decided to just go out of the relationship regardless. Or do you think cheating should be an absolute deal breaker? Yeah, for me. For you. Yeah. 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 If you're in a, you're in a committed relationship and, and you cheated on a partner, that's that's a deal breaker, man. It is. Okay. Yeah, that's Stacy saying. Stacy says, I'm a single woman and most of the men who try to pursue me are married. Of course, we know that. <laughs> That is that's not a myth. Most girls prefer you to marry men. So let's let, let's flip it around. Most women nowadays, especially women over thirty, this yeah, is something almost like a taboo. Prefer yeah. an entanglement to a there you go. Can you see how you guys do it? You see how you girls do it? You give it a very posh name, entanglement. <laughs> Next thing you know, you start calling your sugar daddies and <laughs> something else, maybe. Entanglement is you know it's, it's just it's an entanglement, you know. See? But you see, yeah, most girls prefer you to marry men. I don't know why. Mama girls, so, welcome. Most girls prefer cheating with married men. Yep. Yeah, because the benefits, I mean, if you come and meet me, a single girl, the mm -hmm. thing is, the, the problem I have with married men is when you come to ask me out, don't come with the stories of, you know, I, re I really hate my wife. She's such a bee, you know, I, I'm just planning. Uh, actually, yeah. uh, we, are, we, are, we are going through our divorce now. So mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for, you know, all of those things are not necessary. If you're coming to me as a married man, come and tell me, I have seen you. I like you. I want to have an <laughs> entanglement with you. I have, oh, my wife, I have my wife and my family and I don't want <laughs> any to destroy what I have built with my wife. However, I like your bum bum. You do her. You understand? <laughs> then, I'm getting into that relationship. Not like, uh, that, you know, you have not deceived me at any point. So if I decide now to go with you on that basis, I have myself to blame if anything happens, if I fall in love with you and you, 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 you leave me hanging. Do you understand? But if you come, some people come take off their rings and, and, and tell you that they are not even married. And then Kiki, you let, let me, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but I'll, I'll say this. 90% of women who cheat, who cheat with married men know the situation. They know the language. They know that half of what he's saying is a lie. But they still get entangled. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That it's, probably, who, it's probably people who, are, who don't, they don't have any plans to, to get into a committed relationship. It's convenient. Uh, most of the time, especially financially. Yeah, I agree that it's, it's convenient, but that they have no plans, I seriously doubt. But the, the point I'm making is, the point I would point think I'm trying to make, if I want, if I was planning or if I was hoping that I want to meet um, my partner in the nearest future, or to meet a husband, or to have a husband, or to be married someday, I would a married man would not be my potential partner in that situation. True. True. So if you're dating a married man, you probably know why you are dating a married man, and you probably know what you're you, you, you're dealing with. So well, but the the point I was making is, um, let's stop slating married men because. At the end of the day, these married men are cheating with women. Women who understand, who try to take the moral platform and say, listen, men, you do this, men, you do that. But the women who cheat with married men, why is nobody having a go at these women who are cheating with married men? They have a go at side chicks all the time. Where have you been, Jules? Where uh, have you been? They have <laughs> people have a go at side chicks all the time. Did I not just tell you uh, my uh, institution that a, a girl is going about and attacking all her husband's side chicks and warning <laughs> them and fighting and doing... These girls go through a lot. Sorry, I don't have any sympathy for them because I have sympathy for those who genuinely don't know that they are dating married men. Mm. Do you understand? But Gen if Gen you know that you're dating, Gen if you get into a relationship with a married man, you know very well that your values are misplaced because that is a home that you're planning to wreck. I don't care whether the man asks you out. It is your responsibility to say, I don't do married men. Go back to your wife or something. Do you understand? Right. Uh, you play your uh, own beat. But sometimes... Jaja just said, married women have a goal at, at, at side chicks. I agree. But women need to have a goal at other women who, 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 who are dating married men. Stop bashing the married men. Bash the women who know what. Because it's, at the end of the day, women try to take this, this moral, moral platform, this higher platform to say, you know what? We are forgiving. We are like this. We are like that. But it's the same women who are cheating or who are 
these people who marry men. So have to go at your pen for. Do you want the okay? Do you want the men to cheat with antelopes? Let me say like my mama said. No, it's like you're trying to justify cheating. So what you're saying, cheating, cheating is something that has to happen, and if it has to happen, it should so be with. The men will cheat with the women now. Is who no. do you want them to cheat? The thing I'm not saying that I'm saying I'm not saying that the women are right. I'm just saying that. Both of uh -huh. you have to take responsibility you for your own ish. Do you understand? Sorry, I didn't realize you have a roommate. Not near roommate. Okay, anyway. <laughs> See, what, what I was saying is, Jules, we are not bashing married men. But guess what? If you are coming to ask me, a single woman, out, yeah? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are the one violating your vow with your wife in the first place. I agree. Stepping outside your marriage to ask a single woman out. Now it's it, it's up to the woman, depending on her morality. Mm -hmm. You know, depending on what her values are, it's up to her to say, okay, I like this married man. I'm going to date him. Some even date you, hoping that they will kick your wife out of the house, and it happens. It happens every day. We see that. So it depends on the person's game plan. We don't know what your game plan is. So don't even step outside your marriage. If, if you're stepping outside your marriage, it means you're ready to destroy whatever it is that you've built with your, with your partner or with your wife. Because you don't know how she is going to take it if she finds out. Kiki, I hear well, you. my point is, if women want to have a goal, they should have a goal at women who are sleeping around with married men. And that's what I'm saying, that nobody is refusing. We, like, women have a go at women all the time. That's why I'm asking you, where have you been? If you see all these uh, motivational speakers on Facebook, they are everywhere. They are, they are not leaving side chicks rest. All man, they have a side chick in matter. You understand? So, uh, bon. yes. So, so. It's, not, it's not like they are not telling, but it's, it's not, it, you have to share responsibility. It takes two to tango. You cannot now say, because I'm a side chick, Eh, 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 the other the, the guy should be exalted of all his sins. No, mm -hmm. hi, that's super. That airport, who put me there? See fish. So you, you understand? You wise now? Okay, for example, if there's a girl that has dated a guy for like, mm -hmm. there are there are women who date men, married men for years without even knowing that they are married. So I how agree. You, and that's true. Woman, I mean, so it, it, the past, so so woman throw away hot water. We don't even know self said if he follows on my man. He knows, so he knows he don't see a hot boyfriend. We don't know now, so my their papa. Well, so so we cannot. Next, so your next topic should be why do women prefer cheating with married men? Let's hear from the women because we have too many assumptions here. And not only single, there are too many assumptions. There are too many generalizations because these married men don't only cheat with single women. Married men cheat with married women. People they go <laughs> their married house, go born picking with different women. We don't marry gay or masturbate within them. You have to know that as well. So they, they think no man no free with the thing. Jaja, you need to come back on. <laughs> Auntie Jaja. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take that this thing. I'll take your age. So person surely answer you. If hobby cheats on me, I have no problem with the side chick. It's hobby who will need to give reasons for it. Entanglement. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Gat. <laughs> Who's that? Who yes. said that? See, it's Terry. Terry is saying, if your hobby cheats on you, you, you exactly. You go attacks on side chick for say you know to your master don't tell you. If this man can lie, mm. you don't sit down with my man, the brain song small tea. No, I must move ring. You don't move ring so pocket them. You the end are only good English. Good <laughs> English. <laughs> well, See? I'm here, I'm here for the next life. Hopefully that's the, that's the topic you are. Yeah, I just Instagram Jaja. for you guys. You know, now I don't fire me say my start Instagram because. There's the Instagram audience that has no idea how Facebook works. So now, now, now they give me all the works over. I'm, I'm here. You're doing very well. Thank you, you darling. Enjoy. Thank you for your contribution. I really. Have party for Will Smith. I've said my own. You have said your own, eh? Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. <laughs> Keep shaking that table. <laughs> bye. Thank you. Bye. Auntie Jaja. Hey, girl. I start. On a real though, it was like, okay, let me answer the two last questions, right? So in terms of why do women prefer to cheat with married men? Now, I've been in that kind of entanglement mm -hmm. okay, in my singular mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. And me personally, I know me and my homegirls who did that. We didn't seek to go out. They came for us. As Stacey said, that always, always. Although, although I don't believe that all married men 
chase and cheat. No. But yeah, that's the, the, that is another what? big lie that people tell themselves every yes. day to feel yes. better. Not one all men thing, cheat. No. One thing is for sure. When I was young and I knew what I wanted at that particular time, it was easier to chase a married man because I didn't want commitment. That's what I'm saying. That some people I don't want the commitment me. and they just go for it. If I wanted someone to take me out to fancy restaurants. I wanted to take pictures in fancy restaurants. I wanted to to rock my loop. I wanted to, but you see, all these guys my age, they didn't necessarily have the money to do what to do it's, that. So that's why you say it boils down to finances and comfort. That's it. That's it. That's and it. convenience. Yes, it, that's all it is on a real. So, JFK, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> yes, it does. I hope that answers your question. I really it hope does. that answers your question. It does. So, guys, I hope you all, I mean, we would love to be here because it's been an amazing chat with you guys. But, you know, IG is going to log us out in a bit. We didn't know that. We just found that out today. So, if uh, you want more of this juice, you know where to catch it. Subscribe to our channel in our bio. Subscribe. Subscribe. Link in where? Where's the link in? The bio. Our oh, Instagram link bio. In bio. Mm -hmm. And stay tuned for Fidelity Friday. So, um, I feel so bad that the people that are on Facebook will be missing out on this thing. We'll see the story Saturday on Facebook. <laughs> so, guys, I love you all. Like, oh, it was an awesome, awesome, awesome session. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being so interactive. Thank you for giving us feedback. Thank you for listening. Thank you for not judging and being so welcome. We love you so, 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 much. so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.